morning guys we are awake and alive here in Iola Kansas Iola. Iola. Uh, we're getting ready to get up do our morning walk about check things out looks like I got an extra chicken light on a trailer ABS lights on no big deal been coming on here lately in the same spot, ironically, going across rubber strips uh, to the stop sign of 99 and 54. Whatever reason, it, I guess the dust gets in there, I don't know. But uh, if you watched yesterday's video, you've seen that we've been having turbo issues with our turbo yesterday, uh, wanting to kick out on us, choke down, however you want to word it. Um, I, I don't see nothing wrong, you know, anything, these two peepers right here, don't see nothing wrong. Uh, don't feel nothing out of the ordinary. So, I'm going to drive on across. Plan on going home today anyway, but we may end up dropping snow, or not snowball, I ain't had snowball in a couple years. We might drop fireball off at uh, TAG and have them look at it uh, if it continues to hit keep up with what it's doing. Now we've been seeing a little bit of lightning out of that system right there. Yeah, nothing I'm really concerned about. It's Kansas. Done check, make sure nobody pulled our handle. Check our chains, make sure these rocks ain't going nowhere. That's the important part. Don't want them going nowhere. Look for major debris, this little dust stuff ain't too bad. We don't want to pay for nobody's windshield if we don't have to. Chains are all tight, we're good to roll. As far as that goes. Steel. What would I have done differently on that load? Well, he's okay with chaining over the top, but I would have put some straps or something over the center there but that's just me here we are back in missouri uh, so far the turbo seems to be acting right granted i haven't really been into any hills other than coming through fort scott so now we put it to the test see if it's going to act up or not uh, going the rest of the way there's some pretty good pulls this way and it's either going to work out good or it ain't. Like I said, we're gonna, we'll go over and deliver the load and then turn around and put it in the shop this evening if need be. But hopefully we don't have to because hopefully it's just a fluke deal and it never happens again. <laughs> you, know, you know, that's how you hope. But it usually don't end up that way. We'll, we'll keep an eye on her. That's about all we can do at this at this point. This is what I'm talking about. When I say the turbo is cutting in and out on me. Of course now it's gonna quit doing it. But. Put the legs a second. Check things out. 
so far since our one little issue our little episode with the turbo haven't had an issue since knock on wood that's a window buster um, this chain here loose you know how you can tell that turned around we'll fix that here in a second check the rest of them but uh I'll tighten that one down too but uh I called the shop and they they pretty well kind of confirm it's probably what I think it is the v-pod acting up so we'll go sit still one off of Billy's old engine and see if I don't fix the issue that's a pretty cool little setup <laughs> little Volvo with a flatbed setup on it gonna get us fuel and keep on keeping on I can't be the only one that just drives nuts. Either they leave the flap up or they leave the hose sticking out. I ain't got no DPF. I don't want to trip over this crap. Get in there. There we go. There we go. That's better. <laughs> that just drives me nuts. Uh oh. Still pumping. Doggy. After I clean my windshield, it starts raining. Never fails. You know what Johnny Cash said? Looks like we blessed with a little more rain. We can use it. 141 gallon, or 144 gallons at a high, or $591. <laughs> Oh man, we're gonna get our money one way or the other. Rain at the pump, go take it out of your pocket. How about that? We found some moisture for sure. That ain't no joke. Yeah, just a few more miles, we jumping off to the big road here, back on the little road. I would pass these guys because they're all holding me up, but. They're all lined out just right. I know I wouldn't make it past them all for I to get up here and get off. So. Oh, well, we'll stick in behind them and have a good day. I know, I'll tell you that. Uh, there ain't no other reason not to have a good day. Just keep on keeping on and, 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 and have fun. That's what it's about. Yeah. Nothing like trying to go through a town gone almost all the way get over here 30 miles left to go 45 miles going through Farmington the gum turbo starts acting up again trying to take off the stop lights and that thing kicking in and out trying to shift the gears what a pain in the butt now I get out of Farmington over here on the 32 and that sucker just completely says nope not today Clint but eventually we got her working and going again. Yeah, God, what a nightmare. Glad to get these off and get on home and try to get this figured out. Yeah, we're getting up on this scale. Let's see here, get the tire on up there. There we go. 79, 980. Woo. On the money. I got you. Thank you. We are emptied out. Man, getting ready to walk in and see about getting us a, a sandwich or something for lunch. Hey, gum, we're hungry. Uh, gonna head home and go head to Baker's and get parts off of the old engine and see if we can't fix this thing. Well, we come into Baker's and it's the part we're looking for. Hopefully, it's good. That's the old engine out of Billy's truck. <laughs> In pieces. Gonna go say adios to my friends and 
56. Good number. <laughs> oh, some nice tires there. Guy could use a set on a pickup truck. There you go. Let's go see what all is going on in the world and we'll get out of here. Well, we put Snowball at home and switching out the, the old big blue truck. Yeah, I got things. Yeah. There you go. Need to grow by another foot to get up in this thing. Oh, man. The old man's on vacation, so I guess we can come by and get this thing for him. Fuel filters for Fireball. Let's see if this thing will start. It says it's been sitting a few minutes. All sorts of lights. Oh, like a boss. Let's see here. Visual temperature. Oil pressure. Just had a head done on it, so. Out of air like natural. Wouldn't be one of his trucks if it didn't leak air. I think we're good. Just gotta fire it up and take it home for him. I guess it needs a the headliner back there is falling again, so they gotta fix that. We'll go home and probably have to work on fireball tomorrow if it ain't raining. I don't know, we'll see. I can tell you one thing. Feel like a drive, drive a dead gun Bigfoot. This old turbo the truck gets up on the turbo. It straight up gets and moves. It don't take it no time to get up on the turbo. We're gonna take it to the house so the neighbor can fix the headliner in it. Get it all right. I don't know if we're going to work on Fireball tonight or tomorrow. I might try to do it tonight before I think it's supposed to rain tomorrow. I think the hardest part about driving this thing other than not having a, a room like I do in Fireball is got to drag down 10 speed in this thing. It has a pre-emission engine because it's an older truck. No e-logs required. As it says on the door. But like I said, it just gets up and goes. Like it ain't got no business. But it's an older injury, so you gotta keep the RPMs up on them too. So <laughs> that's a, that's something else you gotta get used to. It ain't ain't no big toll roller, that's the big the big thing there. The old man don't care about that, he just wants to get up and down the road. He says it gets as close to seven miles a gallon full of the kind of so, That ain't bad. Tell you one thing, for an old truck, it don't drive half bad. I can't remember if he said it's a 97 or a 98. It don't do too bad. Especially being it's got tall rubber on it. You gotta keep the RPMs up. The ribbons. <laughs> They don't do bad. These old trucks, they like to have the RPMs up pretty good. So. The old man, he just cruises with it. He don't run hard, he says. I don't know, I ain't ran with him since he's gotten this truck other. Uh, one time to go over and load, and even then, it was kind of like the maiden voyage, if that's what you want to call it with this thing. Uh, had a truck down. One truck almost down. <laughs> You know the story, that's back when uh, Bruiser tried killing me. So, we're almost to the house with it. We'll park it up and see what we end up doing with Fireball if we mess with it tonight or tomorrow. The old Fireball is all tucking and everything and missing lug nut covers. We're going to go eat real quick. And, I don't know. We'll probably put that on there. I'll let you guys know eventually. Well, went ahead and changed out the v pods this is the one that was on the truck and it's actually pretty clean i don't know if it's 
got washed whenever they did the engine or what the deal is with that but we're gonna put it in our box here randomness that we collect just in case it break down uh don't know if it fixed it because we need to take it for a test drive that ain't happening tonight so maybe tomorrow maybe friday we'll figure it out but we're gonna if the weather's good tomorrow we're gonna come down and change the oil if not i don't know what we're gonna do yet do need to put my tools away real quick before it gets completely dark on me but uh, i guess we'll see you when we get back out on the road probably friday guaranteed maybe tomorrow i don't know